Now, over in the US, we are having a cost of living crisis in Australia at the moment, but the Prime Minister is having a swish dinner at the White House with Joe Biden. That's going to take place overnight our time. The state dinner, of course, was offered as a gesture after Biden cancelled visiting Australia for the Quad. But, Steve, at the same time, you've got more than a third of households in Australia aren't, can't afford food. This is according to Food Bank. Uh, a lot of people are skipping meals because they just can't afford to feed their family. Do you think that the images coming out of the White House and particularly the menus being released, you know, roasted beet salad, butternut squash soup, um, braised short ribs, hazelnut and chocolate mousse cake washed down with wines that cost $100 Australian a bottle, you know, how's this going to be received by Australians? Well, it's not a good look. I mean, look, if the Prime Minister gets invited to a state dinner, I guess he can't say no and doesn't go. But, I mean, the thing that gets me about this is uh, you've got an APEC meeting taking place, I think, in about 10 days' time, and Anthony Albanese will be back on the west coast of the United States for that as well. And then he goes to China to meet President Xi. So he's doing a lot of travelling, um, and he's probably glad that he's out of the country at the moment. I mean, it's a great diversion for the PM, isn't it, Shari, given the 60-40 result in that referendum on The Voice. So he's probably glad that he's not here. Uh, but you just wonder, when he's sitting down talking to Joe Biden, I wonder if Biden's advisers have played him that grab that you played there of Anthony Albanese as a young bloke uh, with a megaphone sticking up for Palestine. I, I'm sure that's not being played to the US president. Yes, we all perhaps are more radical when we're younger, but the problem that the PM has, and so does his Foreign Affairs Minister Penny Wong, they are of the hard left. And they have, throughout their student days and their early political careers, been ardent supporters of Palestine. And they can't just, you know, whitewash that and say, oh, well, I've now completely changed their mind, because I think deep down they probably haven't. Mm. Well, I should actually make it clear, while that one protest was from his early days, his anti-Israel comments, his pro-Palestinian comments in Parliament and in media interviews extend right up until 2018. So these are views that he still holds. Um, and I've played those clips a lot of times on my show. Perhaps I should play them again tomorrow night. But these are views that he still holds. But th th that particular video of him at the pro-Palestinian rally holding the megaphone, that was when he was much younger. Um, Steve, I want to ask you about Jacinta Price. She's hit back at this controversial open letter from Voice supporters who said that the referendum's rejection of the Voice was a shameful act. What did you make of that letter and Jacinta's response? I had thought her response was appropriate and I thought the letter was disgraceful. I mean, uh, you know, no voters like myself uh, have been labelled as shameful and borderline racist. Now, OK, if you want to call me uh, shameful for voting no or a racist, that's your right. Put your name to it. I mean, you can't let, put this letter out anonymously and not attach a name to it. I mean, everyone's entitled to their view. And if, if people think that, fine. But I want to know who you are. I want to know who I need to convince that I, I voted the way I did. In fact, I couldn't vote because I was on a plane, but I was intending to vote no. I, I was going to vote that way because that's what I felt I should do. Uh, and that was my right. So if you want to criticise me, um, you've got a public platform, put your name to the letter, and I'd be more than willing to have you on any Sky show that I host or on your show with you, Shari, to have a debate about it. Mm. But faceless people penning a letter describing no voters as shameful and racist, that's just not on. Mm -hmm. All right, Steve Price, thank you so much for your time.